The title of today's class is Major Changes in the United States and the World, A Personal Journey. Major Changes in the United States and the World, A Personal Journey. What I'm going to do today is talk about what I've seen personally in my own life of 71 years of living in this country. You know, what I've seen, the positive changes, not, not so positive changes. And the first one I want to start with is the diversity. Uh, when I was growing up, I, I was born in 1941. I grew up in, in Brooklyn, uh, in the Fort Greene area. It was a project. My father worked in a Navy shipyard. And we were whites, blacks, and Puerto Ricans in, in the projects. So we lived in the same building next door to one another. The only religions I heard about probably my first 10 years of life, and we moved to Long Island uh, when I was about 10, uh, the only religions I ever heard about were uh, Christianity, Judaism, and we had a friend when I was about eight years old, and my, my mother told me they were atheists. They didn't believe in God. That was a shock to all of us. That was like really strange, you know, atheists. So I had heard at an early age of Christians, Jews, and atheists. That was it. I'm not sure at what age I started finding. I think I was probably... I might have been in my 20s till I knew there was any other religion. I probably was in my 20s. Now at that time, uh, believe it or not, the average person uh, did not know that Jesus was Jewish. I didn't know that. It was like, I, I might have been part of just the anti-Semitism, but it, it, pe most people didn't know it. And you didn't have a mixing uh, in the religious groups. My grandfather was an Orthodox rabbi. I never had the privilege of meeting him, but I heard he had friends that were ministers and priests, and that was way ahead of his time. And he was up in Oakland, California, way ahead of his time. But he was a rabbi who got in trouble with his congregation. And I think he got terminated at different synagogues, and so I, I, and I, it was an unusual man. He mixed with different religions. And I know when I was in the Boy Scouts, I was about 12 years old, was Jewish Boy Scout camp, Boy Scout group, and we had talked to some other, I think, Catholic group, and no, they didn't want to have a meeting with the mixing the scouts together. It was just, you, know, you kept to yours. We, everyone kept to their own kind at that time. Now, when I was growing up, if you have an appointment book or on a calendar, you naturally would see Easter and Christmas, and that was all you saw. On, on calendars. Christmas and Easter. That was it. Now you'll also see Rosh Hashanah, which is Jewish New Year. You see Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement in Judaism. You'll also see Ramadan, the Day of Fasting for Muslims, uh, and other holy days and other religions, and uh, national holidays of different religions are now on our calendars. Just did not exist in, in our time. Uh, so there was a religious segregation. Then, of course, there was a racial segregation. I mean, uh, I mean my friends would make jokes about black people. Uh, that's what, what was happening. I mean, there was a lot of prejudice against blacks. I grew up where, and I was in the north, but if you go in the south, it would say you go to a bathroom, you know, no colors allowed. Um, you know, there'd be a restaurant, no colors allowed. I mean, this was in my lifetime. But the prejudice went beyond that. I know my, my uh, uncle, my uncle Lenny, who had a, a uni oh, was in the Second World War, he had his uniform on. Um, my Aunt Lee was pregnant, and they were in Florida, and it was pouring rain out, and he wanted to get into a motel. And he went to the motel, and they, he registered in Nuremberg, and he was in his uniform as, as a soldier in the Army, he said, never, is that a Jewish name? He said, yeah, well, he said, yes. He says, well, we don't take Jews. So my aunt and uncle went out into the rain uh, as Jews. A friend of mine, a uh, Mexican friend of mine, who was a hero in the Second World War, when he came back, he wanted to buy a house in some area in Los Angeles, and he said, this is the name Alvarez, and he says, well, we don't sell the Mexicans. Well, those things can't happen anymore. So I've seen in my lifetime where the legal rights of all of us as citizens 
uh, is, is now in place. So in this sense, it's been a tremendous progress 